The World Health Organization says it hopes to test two new Ebola vaccines in West Africa by January. They will be given to 20,000 frontline healthcare workers to begin with. But while the epidemic could be a lucrative market for drugs companies, others are already cashing in. Gianni Chikian investigates. What's in a name? Whether we like it or not, Ebola is becoming a brand name. And what happens to a brand name? People capitalize on it. I was surprised to find just how many iPhone cases with Ebola on them are on sale now. $50 for this one. Hug me, I'm Ebola free, says one of the great many t-shirts that you can find with Ebola on them. Some of these t-shirts link Ebola with President Obama for some reason. Oh yes, there's also a bumper sticker on sale. The website says it's among its best sellers. Do you want to wear some more Ebola? How about an Ebola thong? Someone saw something sexy in a deadly virus. Oh, and it's on sale, $4 cheaper. I wonder why. Do you have trouble starting a conversation at a party? This time, maybe just for you. The seller's website says, Ebola bears a certain public fascination and this design remains one of our most requested items. Speaking of public fascination, one company in California is looking to make a killing this week, selling Halloween costumes of an Ebola health worker. The costume is very current, it's very trendy. People want that shock and awe. Halloween costume, and this is definitely it. For the more sensitive, there are these special candles. Pray to end the bowler for only $40. Oh, and a little something for the kid. A fluffy Ebola. The seller's website advertises it as the T-Rex of microbes. Also as a great teaching tool for students of all ages. Most of these businesses say they raise awareness by selling Ebola-named products. Others look at it and say, They've just turned a deadly disease into business. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekyan, RT.